I am not on the homestead today. I am at my cousin's house in Bondwell, and we're having a girls weekend and we are going to do some antiquing today. And I thought I would bring you guys along and share in all the fun stuff we find. So it's Founders Day here in Bondwell and there are people everywhere. So once we go into the antique store, I don't know how much talking I'm going to be able to do. So I might just flip the camera around and just show you guys all the fun stuff. What are these called? The mirror shelves, aren't they neat? You could put a little plant in there. Oh, the we just went on business. Maybe this could this could become more I like this little doily. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I love the green flowers on that. That's so cute. is super cute too. Oh. The pattern on there, isn't that sweet? And this little, the little blue flowers. It's oh, cute. Oh, look at there. is very delicate. It's so pretty. Oh, that little teapot is so cute. Oh, I like this one too. Oh, those are so fun. That's a pretty picture. The pink roses. So cute. Do you guys remember macrame? Is that what this is called? Remember, did you do it in school? I think we did it in like fifth grade. My grandma had these all over her house. Oh, this one is huge. Those are so cute in a weird kind of way. I kind of love the pattern on that. Do you think this was really somebody's child? Like back in the day? Are these real pictures? Look at this one. On their wedding day. They don't look very happy. That frame is beautiful though. window. I 
I think I had one when I was little. These are so cute. How creative. Right around the corner, you guys. Hate to say it. here before we know it. Oh, somebody took a cheese grater and decorated it. That's cute. Oh, look at this little guy down here with his nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. So cute. I cannot decorate with stuff like that because my puppies will use them as chew toys for sure. Like that little guy right here is cute too. He's a little fluff ball. I think he's made out of a one of those old chenille quilts. Is that what they're called? Chenille? Oh, so cute. Christmas everywhere. Oh, hello. Well, we are done at our first antique store and I got this little stool for five bucks. I thought it would be cute propped up like an old pitcher or a vase with some flowers or maybe a candle, that it would be cute. Um, it, there were just so many people. I couldn't really talk or touch stuff. So we're gonna go to one more. We just got to the second antique store and the parking lot is empty. So hopefully I'll be able to walk through and talk a little bit more. I am looking for like a cheese box. I want it to be wooden and long and skinny because I want to put it on the wall by the stove and put little spice jars in it. And then I am also looking for a frame, like just a picture frame without the picture that I can put in my entryway. I have a round clock and I wanted to put a frame around that clock. So those are two things that I am looking for here today. These lamps are kind of cool. For a bedside table, I put different shades on them, but those are really cute. And there's two of them. What's the price? Two for 10. Oh, that's not a bad price. Those are cute. I'm gonna see if the camera picks this up. <laughs> that is so creepy.
not finding a cheese box, but I'm wondering, could I use something like this and turn it sideways on the wall? I don't like that thing right there. Can you hold this for me? So I want to put it on the wall and put my spices like in here and then up on top. But I don't like this thing right here. So I found a frame that I like, but it's got a picture in it. Let me see if I can zoom you in. It's right there. <laughs> I would take that green out and maybe paint it, but that's kind of a cool frame. Isn't that cool? Could you imagine talking on that back in the day, trying to have a conversation? <laughs> you guys, I'm striking out left and right. I'm not finding a cheese box or a frame. They have a lot of cute stuff, though. Oh, I think it's too thin. I found one, you guys. It's super cute, look. It's 20 bucks, though. Do you think it's worth it? So I would put it on the wall like this and then put my little spice jars and then put some up here. That's not bad, right? The coloring, the color inside the box is nice, right? Do you think or not? I think I might get this. That basket is pretty. Oh, look at that lamp. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's got roses on it. Oh, that's pretty. Who remembers this? <sighs> Old Spice. I think my grandpa had those bottles of Old Spice and he would wear it. That's so funny. The stuff that triggers memories. Well, you guys, that store was a bust. I didn't get the cheese box. It, I don't think that it was deep enough for the little um, spice jars that I have, so I put it back. But I think we are going to hit up the local Goodwill, so maybe I'll get lucky there and find a frame or something. So, okay. On the way to the Goodwill, we saw a Habitat for Humanity. So we're making a quick pit stop in here to see what they have. Maybe we might find a secret treasure that we've always wanted, but we didn't know we wanted it. There's so much stuff. They have a lot of furniture here. Look at, there's another one of those. What is it, a shadow box? Is that what they're called? They're so cool. They have a lot of stuff in here. Like they have a lot of furniture. And it's not really in that bad a shape. You guys, they seriously have everything here. Like if you know how to DIY, this is definitely the place to come because they have like remnants of everything. Like look at that faucet. Oh, it's broke. It's missing a handle. But still, it's kind of cute. Like they have everything. If you know how to DIY, this is definitely the place to come. They have flooring, backsplash, tile, 
glass blocks. And they have fun furniture. <laughs> they have it all. Look at that dresser. It's so pretty. So much furniture. Like, look at this blue chair. Is that not a beautiful color? And it's in great shape. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is beautiful. How fun. Look at those colors right in a row. Yellow, pink, and green. There's a fun one too. Look at the back. Not in bad shape. You could probably wash that. You could probably wash that material. That's a fun chair. They have bedroom sets. They have hope chests. Like, look at this. That's kind of cool, isn't it? And it's a whole set. They have every kind of 80s chandelier you can imagine. <laughs> They're everywhere. I think these lamps are really cool. Like, I don't like the fluted lampshade, but if you could paint that, isn't that neat? And there's two of them. I don't need lamps, but they're super cute, right? Need a kitchen table and some chairs. They have that too. There's another shadow box. I'm telling you guys, these things are everywhere. If I had room for it, I would seriously consider getting one of these. I think they're so cool. I love it. Not necessarily this one, but the cool ones at the antique mall. They were so neat. And then there's always creepy dolls. Why are there always creepy dolls? Well, we didn't buy anything, you guys, but it sure was fun to poke around. If you DIY, it is a DIYer's paradise in there. I think we're gonna go for lunch. So I am going to say goodbye, say thank you for watching my video. Thank you for taking along with us on this fun day of antiquing. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye friends.